Hello, my name is Nellie and I'm a Lifeguard Services Assistant with the East Bay Regional Park District. I help train our seasonal lifeguards so they are prepared to guard during the summer. The East Bay Regional Park District has 11 different lifeguarded swim facilities across Alameda and Contra Costa counties. So whether you like swimming in a pool or swimming alongside the open water of a lake, we have a little something for everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the importance of learning how to swim and share with you five tips so that you can have fun and be safe when you visit our pools, lakes, and lagoons. Learning how to swim is the best defense against drowning. Knowing how to swim is a great skill to have, not only because it can keep you safe in the water, but because it is a great form of exercise and can help keep you healthy and fit. During the summer, we offer swim lessons for all levels at Roberts Regional Recreation Area in Oakland and at Contra Loma Regional Park in Antioch. All instruction is conducted with an emphasis on personal safety and fun while providing a comfortable, encouraging, and enjoyable learning environment. It's never too late to learn and to build your confidence in the water. Now that we've covered the importance of learning how to swim, let's get into our first safety tip. Tip number one, swim near a lifeguard. Lifeguards are trained to protect swimmers. They know the safest places to swim and also the hazards you want to avoid. If you get into trouble but are swimming near a lifeguard, they will be able to get to you faster to provide assistance. It is very important to listen to the lifeguards because they always have your safety in mind. Tip number two, never swim alone. It's never a good idea to swim alone, even if you know how to swim. Even an experienced swimmer can get into trouble or have a medical emergency. A good thing to do is to swim with a buddy. That way, if one of you has a problem, the other may be able to help or signal for assistance. Our beaches can get very busy and getting lost can be scary. So a responsible adult should be watching you swim at all times, even if there are lifeguards on duty. Tip number three, use sunscreen. The warm weather invites everyone to spend the day outside by the water. On sunny days, it is very important to protect your skin. Without sunscreen, your skin can burn, which could lead to long-term skin damage. Even if it's a cloudy day, you still wanna use sunscreen as the sun's UV rays can go through clouds. To protect yourself, make sure you use a broad or full spectrum sunscreen with a minimum SPF of 15, and remember to reapply it throughout the day. Tip number four, wear a life jacket. If you're not a strong swimmer or cannot swim, you should use a Coast Guard approved life jacket when you are in, on, or around the water. All of our aquatic facilities have life jackets that you can borrow for free. Remember, even if you're wearing a life jacket, you shouldn't go past chest deep water and you should still have a parent or guardian watching you at all times. Tip number five, obey posted signs. It's important to pay attention to all posted signs and read them when you arrive. These signs let you know what is and isn't allowed in our swim area. Other signs let you know if it's safe to swim as there may be harmful bacteria you want to avoid. Pay special attention to signs signaling a drop-off. Drop-offs can be gradual slopes or cliff-like drops into deeper water. If you cross that boundary, you might not be able to stand. I hope you enjoyed learning about water safety and we hope to see you at our aquatic facilities when it is safe to do so. Thanks for watching. Thank you.